What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you about the binomial squares pattern. Okay, so these are just two really convenient formulas that we can use whenever we're squaring a binomial. So there's an addition one and a subtraction one, but they both basically work the same way. So first of all, with the addition one, okay? So this is just saying if I'm adding two terms together and I'm squaring that whole thing, instead of having to FOIL, right, like A plus B times A plus B, right, FOILing is the first, then the outer, and then the inner, and the, so instead of going through all that, you can basically use this formula, okay? So again, if you're squaring this binomial, then this is gonna be equal to the first term squared, and the second term squared, and then you just add that to two times the two terms multiplied together, okay? And the subtraction one basically works the same way, okay? So if you're subtracting two terms, right, and you're squaring them, then that's gonna be equal to the first term squared, and then you can just write in the last term squared, and then the only difference here is we're going to subtract two times uh, a and B multiplied together, or your two terms multiplied together, okay? But the addition sign at the end here is still the same as the addition sign at the end right there. Okay, so I know this could be kind of confusing because it's kind of vague, so let's just do a few examples and then I think you'll see how easy it actually is to apply this. Okay, so got a few examples right here, a couple addition problems up here, and a couple of the negative or subtraction problems down here. So let's start with this example right here, x plus nine in parentheses squared. Okay, so I normally find it's a little easier to jump around a little bit when you're writing out your formula. So again, remember it's the first term squared, so I'm gonna write x squared, and then I also know I have the last term squared, so I'm gonna write nine squared, and since we're adding, I know I have two plus signs right there, okay? And then I just kinda have to figure out the middle part. So if you remember, the middle part is two times each of these terms right here. So it'd be two times x times nine, okay? That's literally all you gotta do. So if we simplify this, uh, this is x squared, and then this middle term right here, two times x times nine. Well, two times nine is 18, right? So here this would be 18 times x, or just 18x, right? And we're adding, right? So plus 18x, and then uh, at the end right here, we have plus nine squared and nine squared is just 81, okay? So this is as simplified as I can write this, right? There's nothing left to combine. So your final answer right here would just be x squared plus 18x plus 81, right? So not too bad, right? Uh, let's go to this next example right here. Okay, so as you can see, we're adding two terms together, right? Four y cubed plus six n in parentheses, and then we're just squaring that whole thing, right? So again, all you have to do is take your first term and square it, so let's write that out here. So four y cubed, and then I'm just squaring that whole thing, right? And then here, my last term is six n, right? Six n, and then we're also gonna square this one, right, the last term. Okay, and then we're adding here, right? So if you want, you can throw both of your plus signs right there. And then in the middle here, we're gonna have two times the first term, which is four y cubed times the last term, which is six n. Okay, so now we just have to kind of simplify this, right? So let's start here. So remember, we have to apply this exponent right here to every term that's inside of the parentheses. So we have to apply it to the four and to the y cubed, okay? So if we apply it to the four, we're gonna have four squared, right? And then here to the y cubed, it would be y cubed raised to the second power, okay? So first of all, four squared, that's equal to 16, and then y cubed raised to the second power. Well, if you remember how to raise a power to a power, all you have to do is multiply these two numbers together. So three times two, that's equal to six. So here we're gonna have y to the sixth power, okay? Y to the sixth power, okay? And then we're adding that, right? So then here we have two times four y cubed times six n. So here we have to combine like terms, right? So another way you could look at this is two times four times y cubed times six times n. Okay, I think it's a little more clear what we have here if I multiply everything out, right? So now if we're going to combine like terms, 
um, I can multiply the numbers together, right? So two times four times six. Let's combine those. So two times four, that's equal to eight. And then eight times six is equal to 48, okay? And then our remaining terms here are n and y cubed. So there's no way we can combine those, right? Because they're completely different variables. So we'll just write those in as n y cubed. So we simplified the middle part, and then we're going to add this last part here, 6n squared. So again, remember this exponent out here, we have to apply it to the number and to the variable, right? So here we're going to have 6 squared n squared, right? And then 6 squared, that's equal to 36, and n squared is just n squared. So here I'm left with 16y to the 6 plus 48ny cubed plus 36n squared. Right now, there's no other terms I can combine here or add together, right? Because they all have different variables. So that means this is my simplified answer. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Now let's just do a couple examples with a minus sign right here. Okay, so right here we have a minus eight in parentheses and the whole thing is squared, right? So instead of having to foil or anything like that, the shorter way of doing that is just taking your first term and squaring it, okay, so a squared, taking your last term, eight, and squaring that one also, so eight squared, okay, and notice I didn't write negative eight squared, right? I just wrote the eight, okay? So don't include the minus sign when you're writing it right here, okay? So I took my first term, squared it, took my last term, squared it, and notice we're subtracting in this case, right? So I'm gonna have a subtraction sign on the left side and an addition sign on the right side, okay? And then in the middle, all you have to do is multiply two times both of your terms. So times a and then times eight, just eight, right? Not minus eight or negative eight, all right? So then simplifying this, uh, here we're gonna have a squared minus and then two times a times eight, that's gonna be equal to 16a right? Two times eight is 16 and then times eight right there. So 16 a. And then here we're adding eight squared, which is equal to 64. Okay. So then this would be your final answer right here. A squared minus 16 a plus 64. Okay. Uh, let's try one last example here. So here we have three T to the fourth minus five in parentheses and the whole thing is squared, right? So again, the easy place to start is just take your first term and square it. So 3t to the fourth, right? So we're going to square that and take your last term and square it, right? So just five in this case, right? Not negative five, just five. So five squared. Let's move that over a little bit. Five squared. Okay. And we're subtracting in this case, right? So that means I'm going to have a minus sign on the left side and still just a plus sign on the right side. And then in the middle here, we're going to have two times both of our terms. So we're gonna multiply that by three t to the fourth and five, right? Times five, okay? So now let's simplify this. So here we have three t to the fourth raised to the second power, and we have to apply this power to each term, right? We have to apply it to the three and to the t, uh, t to the fourth, okay? So here we're gonna have three squared and t to the fourth squared also, okay? So three squared, first of all, is equal to nine, and then t to the fourth squared, well, remember when you have a power raised to another power, you just multiply those together, okay? So four times two is eight, right? So here we're gonna have t to the eighth power, right? t to the eighth power, okay? And then we're subtracting uh, this whole thing right here. So two times three t to the fourth times five, Okay, now if I'm gonna combine like terms, remember I can multiply all the numbers together. So two times three times five, right? So two times three, that's equal to six, and then six times five is equal to 30. So here we're gonna have 30, and then we're left with t to the fourth right there, right? t to the fourth, okay? And then we're gonna add uh, five squared, which is just equal to 25. Okay, so there's nothing here that I can combine. So again, this would be my final answer right here. 9t to the eighth minus 30t to the fourth plus 25. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.